Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in both the 8-bit DOE SFC30 and the 8-bit DOE SNES30 style Bluetooth controllers. Before you do anything, make sure that your Bluetooth controller is turned off and is also not plugged in to the computer. This is very important. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the website support.8bitdo.com and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description as well, but it's pretty straightforward and it's right up here in the address bar. And once you're here, it's going to bring you to the manual page. Um, the manuals that you will need or I guess would like to have is the manual version 4.0. The manual legacy is the original one. You don't really need that one, but I would highly recommend picking up uh, the manual 4.0. And it's the exact same manual for both the SFC30 and SNES30 style controller. So once you have that, go over to firmware. And in the firmware section, you can see firmware version 4.0 for both the SFC30 and SNES30. And if you hover over with your mouse, you can see that they're actually the exact same file. So it doesn't matter if you click on this download link here for the SFC or SNES30, or if you click this download link here for the SFC30. So feel free to click download it's a very, very small download, and it should be done relatively fast. Mine finished before I could actually tell the size, so I'll just take a look at my downloads folder. So once it's downloaded, you can see here, yeah, 309 kilobytes. It's pretty tiny. Um, it downloads both, I've downloaded both the manual and the firmware. So for the firmware, just extract it. And you'll get three uh, things right here. You'll get a file with update tools, you get a README, and you'll get the DAT file. Feel free to open the README if you would like. And this is showing the unique mold modes. You can see with version 4.0, there's the Nintendo Switch connectivity. So the next step is to go to update tools either choose Mac OS or Windows. For the purposes of this video, I am choosing Windows as I am running a Windows computer. And then there's an application called 8bitdoeupdate.exe. So open that. And you can see here the instructions. On your controller, you're gonna hold Start plus L plus R for three seconds. The blue and green LEDs will blink. You're gonna to connect to PC via USB cable. And also, after that's done, you'll click USB Update button and select for more file. And this button should automatically populate, um, or automatically become selectable once you connect your controller to the PC. All right, here's my controller here. And at this part, this is where I'm gonna press the L and R buttons and start for three seconds. So to get the timing of this right, it's actually easier just to hit L and R right away because this does not power on the controller. Now I'm gonna hit start and hold it for three seconds. You can see both lights are currently blinking. At this part, this is where you plug it in to the micro USB to your computer. And as soon as I plug it in here, you can see on my screen that the USB button is now clickable. So I'm gonna click USB update. It'll automatically go to the folder. And if it doesn't automatically go here, just remember where you extracted the files and click on it. 
and select the SNES30 plus SFC30 underscore firmware underscore V4.00 dot DAT. And this is the firmware file to update your controller. So I'm going to click that now. New firmware is 4.00 and current is 2.71. So that's a big jump. Yes, I'm going to upgrade it to version 4.00. So click OK. You can see it is now updating and it shouldn't take very long at all. I highly recommend being very careful with your controller at this point and to not accidentally unplug it. So if you are holding it, hold it very steadily, but I highly recommend before you click the USB update button to set your controller down on a very flat surface with everything plugged in so you don't accidentally knock the cable out. Okay, now I got the nice message saying firmware upgraded. The blue button, or the blue light LED you can see has stopped blinking on the controller and that's it. Easy peasy. And now your controller has the latest version of firmware on it. This process is the exact same for both the 8 SNES 30 and SFC 30 style controllers. That's all I've got for today. Thank you everyone. Take care.